morning everyone and welcome to Mexico. We're actually here for a few days celebrating my birthday and another couple's birthday which actually lands around the same time. So we had planned to come on a little getaway earlier on this year. Now we are staying in Secret Maroma All Inclusive. It's an adult only resort. So I will show you a little bit about the resort and kind of give you my feedback and my thoughts at the end of this vlog. However, the main idea of this vlog is just to do sort of like what I wore and share with you a little bit of a beach vacation lookbook. So we're gonna start with the first outfit since I'm already ready and we have to head out to breakfast to meet the other couple. I'll try to figure out the setup at some point or another. This dress is from H&M. Hopefully it's still in stock and I can link it below. I really liked it because it is that sort of woven material and a little bit sheer so perfect for the beach but at the same time it is a nice cover up. Underneath I have a very old simple black bathing suit from H&M as well. And then I'm wearing my Valentino Jelly Rock Studs in the color black. I have two pairs of these. I have the black and I also have the nude. I brought them both because they're just so comfortable and so easy to clean, especially when you take them to the beach with the sand and all the salt water. I just rinse it off afterwards and they're good to go. Okay, I put you guys a little bit higher because that other angle wasn't working too well. Anyways, for the start of this whole trip, and that is my Negeti tote bag. This one is from their St. Barth's line in the size medium. Honestly, I could have probably done the large, but the medium is gonna work perfectly fine, especially for a beach trip. I did use it as my personal item on the way over here, and I was able to fit another little bag that I brought to wear in here as well. So I did get her in this beautiful kind of like fuchsia sort of pink, and the hat is from Target. The hat clip is from Amazon. And then what I did was I opted to wrap one of Silk Philosophy's silk bracelet on the hat. But guys, look how perfect this little silk matches with the bag. When she released this one, I messaged her and I was like, I need that one ASAP for my Cancun trip. So this is the final look. The colors up top are very simple. You're going to see a lot of black bathing suits during this trip. That's just what I like to wear. We're going to just switch it up with the cover up and then the accessories that I choose to put together. And I'm just so excited that I was able to bring out my new bag and give her some use. All right, we got to go. Bye. guys this is the outfit of the night after we already went out for the night totally forgot to share with you before we left for dinner but i'm wearing this dress which i got from a little local boutique belt is from amazon comes in like a packet of four the little raffia clutch is also from the same boutique which i got the dress shoes are sam edelman very cute and very comfortable and jewelry is just some cute little gold earrings and a matching set that I have from Ana Luisa. Good morning guys. It is currently day two here in Mexico. We woke up this morning and had all intentions to go do some yoga here in the resort, but unfortunately my friend with from the other couple that we came with wasn't feeling too well. So Rudy and I just did like a quick little workout in the room and now we're getting ready to head out for breakfast. Even though I bathed myself in sunblock yesterday, somehow I still managed to get a sunburn. I have my forehead is burning hot. I think I even might have gotten a little bit of a blister but I'm taking care of it and today you're gonna see the hat that I'm taking in order to make sure that I get no more sunburn anywhere in my face. As you can see on my shoulders, there's definitely some redness going on, but 
We're gonna try to do better today. Let me show you really quick the outfit before we head out to breakfast. All right, so here's today's look. The bathing suit is from Amazon. I love the style and the cuts that it does have. I actually ended up ordering in a different color. The cover up is actually like a shirt dress, I'm assuming. It's from H&M, probably already sold out, but I always try to find similar options for you guys and link them down below in these kind of like lookbook videos. So once we go to have breakfast, I'll button it up, but I like the fact that you can leave it unbuttoned just to walk around the pool and the beach area. I will roll up the sleeves a little bit as well. For sunglasses, I'm going with the Amazon Sunnies that you guys know I love. These are polarized. And this little chain, I think I got from Sheen or something like that. Sandals, I'm wearing my Valentino Roxta jellies. I have them in both colors, black and this nude. And these I particularly really like because they do have the rock studs that actually pair perfectly with the color of the sandal. And then for bag, I'm taking this little cute raffia bag. I was just confirming with Rudy, but I think we were in San Antonio and they have like this huge Mexican market with a bunch of little Mexican boutiques and little stores. So I found this one there and I really liked it. I thought it was perfect just to carry like on the daily, but it also works out because here in the resort, I don't have to put like my towels and things like that in a bag. So this little one worked out perfect and I think it just pairs really nicely with this whole look. And the most important and funnest part of this whole outfit is my hat. <laughs> I did mention on Instagram how I've been wanting to get this like very nice beach picture with like a huge hat. Turns out that this one is still not the largest one possible, but you guys, this was still a mission to pack and bring over here. And I'm so excited that I was actually able to pack it and just bring it. I'm gonna share with you really quick how it looks. I mean, it's very extra, but at the same time, I think it's very appropriate for what we're doing, right? <laughs> So if we do end up getting the famous picture that I'm going after, of course, I'll have it linked up on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, make sure to go ahead and do so. But I definitely need the width of this hat today just to make sure that I don't get as burned as I did yesterday. Hi guys, we're back and getting ready for dinner. We've had an amazing day just laying out by the pool. I definitely took a little bit better care of myself and didn't get too much sun today. But I just wanted to share with you really quick what I'm wearing. We're going for the sushi restaurant here. I'll make sure to link the name down below for you all. I'm gonna share with you my thoughts about the resort at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But right now, I'm gonna go over the outfit for today's restaurant, and that is just a simple little linen white dress. I felt like it was very appropriate for a beach vacation. This one is from H&M. Hopefully it's still in stock by the time that this video is up. Bangles are a mixture of some acrylic bangles from Amazon and then some little beaded bracelets from Sheen. But I'll make sure to find either the exact same ones or some similar ones and obviously then link them down below for you. I had all the intentions on wearing some heels but I'm definitely not feeling them tonight. So we're going with the same Valentino rock stud jelly sandals. I just feel like these are so nice just to be able to pair whether it is to the beach or whether it is that you just want to wear like a cute little summer outfit and just have a nice little pair of sandals to match along with that. And then for the handbag of choice, I am going with this little raffia clutch. I did find this one in Sheen, but Amazon has some very similar ones as well. So this is tonight's look. I just feel like it's very beachy, very simple, but at the same time, really cute as well. We did go with a sleek back bun just because I'm putting my hair on a treatment every night. I don't want to blow dry it to then just have to dive into the pool the next day. You want to share your look? <laughs> <laughs> Rudy is going very simple as well. He's just wearing like a little nice pineapple collared shirt. Okay. 
Here we go. <laughs> this shirt is actually uh, no like, I think it's from Marshalls or something. Who knows? This is old. Yeah. The pants are like Probably a Zara. linen, yeah, a linen olive kind of color from Zara. And then shoes are Axel. Axel Arigato. Those are new. He's still bringing them in. He says that they're comfortable a little bit, but they definitely it's need It's going to take like a little bit of a while. Oh, yeah. But they're but good. I like them. Yeah. This is tonight's look, good and time. we're going for sushi, so I'm very excited. <laughs> Good morning guys we're getting ready to go get a massage we've been up since eight in the morning we went to do yoga first and then had breakfast now we're back switch really quick and heading out to get a massage so i just wanted to share with you all really quick what i'm wearing bathing suit is a little black bathing suit with a cute little open back situation you already know from where amazon of course I've been lucky enough to find some really good bathing suits that have actually lasted me a couple of years in Amazon. This cover-up is super old, probably got it in a little boutique in some resort somewhere. But I did a little tie on the side just so that you have the slit open. Shoes are my Valentino Jelly Rock Studs in the color black today. And we are taking my Negeti bag. I love how it pairs so cute with this little cover-up as well. So that is it for today's little beach ensemble. Are you feeling brand new? I'm brand new. <laughs> Oh my god guys that was the most amazing massage i could have asked for as you could see my forehead is definitely going to be going through a few rough couple of days coming up but she did offer to do like this um aloe vera facial treatment and i opted for anything that would help with all this sunburn that i have I'm usually pretty good with the sunblock however being the first day i just got carried away and obviously burns a little bit more than I expected. So right now we're back in the room. We just got a little cake delivery. They actually surprised me with a little mousse type cake. I think I filmed it for you guys and already showed it. And it was so yummy that we have a concierge, which is part of like the whole resort. Each building has its own dedicated concierge. And I just went down and sort of asked him, you know, which was the cake. He's like, don't worry about it. What is it that you want? I'll get you another one up to the room. So they just ended up sending two as we were walking in to just pick up our hats in order to be able to go to the pool. So I'm going to take a quick bite and then we're heading to the pool to grab lunch and then just hang out for the rest of the day. Hi guys, so I thought I would bring you to another part of the room today. Hopefully you can hear me because I don't know if you can tell, but it's very, very windy. The afternoons have been pretty rainy actually, but thankfully during the day we've gotten beautiful sunny days. So that has been really nice as well. We are going to the last restaurant tonight. It is actually our last night here and we are doing the Italian restaurant. The resort has had a total of, I think, four or five restaurants. We were here for four nights, so it worked out perfectly. We were able to try the ones that we really wanted to. However, before we head out, I'm going to do a quick outfit of the night. This is going to be the last night, and then we got one more outfit tomorrow, which is the one that I'm wearing to leave back home in. All right, so for the top, we have this one-shoulder bodysuit. I'm just having it tucked into the skirt. It comes in a ton of beautiful colors as well, and it is from Amazon, so super inexpensive. Really quick, my earrings are super old they're from our trip to dubai it was like a little boutique sort of like a claire's but for dubai so i won't be able to link these but i'll find something similar bangles are my little bamboo cuff with the matching ring this set is from anna luisa i don't know if it's still available on her website and then this is the little coach bangle which i have been loving it's like my little cartier dupe which i mentioned on my instagram that i actually love the fact that i got this because i've realized that i would hate to have a bangle this thick on my wrist at all times so this one is great because i could literally pop it on whenever i want to wear it and take it off for the skirt this is a very old skirt it's actually from target from a collaboration that they did i think with tabitha brown if i'm not mistaken it was from last year 
and I loved it. I actually took it on our trip to Panama last year and I thought it was so perfect to bring on this trip. And sandals, I'm wearing my Valentino Jelly Rock Studs. And one thing that I really like about these sandals is that if I don't want to wear heels, I can always just wear them with my outfit and I really do feel like your outfit still looks put together. I did bring my Sam Edelman heels, but as I said, it's been raining so I'm not in the mood to wear heels tonight to go to dinner. So this is the final look. I think it's a very Mexican appropriate. I feel like I put together the perfect colorful outfit selection for this trip. If you follow me over on Instagram, you guys know that I love wearing black. So I wanted to do something a little bit more fun and a little bit more colorful and bold for this trip. So let me know in the comment section down below if you have like the outfits that I've put together. I really enjoy doing these types of videos just sort of for like outfit inspiration and then if you have anything similar and it's just missing one or two pieces that is the reason why I always have either similar options or the same ones that I'm sharing in the video linked down below for you all. Oh I almost forgot. Here are the two clutches that I brought to wear and I thought about going with the pink just because the outfit is already so bold but a part of me kind of wants to go a little bit more neutral and stick with the raffia one. I think that appears really nicely with the entire look anyways. Yeah, this one is definitely the winner. really quick OOTD since we are heading to play volleyball with our friends hat is from Target and I did tie a little bando on top the cover-up is from H&M I checked last night and it sold out but I try to find similar ones bathing suit is also Amazon and my Nagetti bag let's go So we're already packed and good to go. Rudy is actually in the lobby checking out now. So I thought I would sit here, finish up my cake while I give you guys a little bit of a review in regards to the resort. The service has been absolutely amazing. You do have like a specific person designated, as I said, in the concierge area, like in the bottom part of the building that you're at and anything that you need, you can reach out to them and they will bring it up or they'll have it for you in the room. And then whenever you are in the pool area, there are specific people that obviously would just come around as it mostly is in all inclusives, just kind of offering you a drink or anything like that. In my opinion, they were all very attentive and friendly in the sense that they would come over ask you if you needed anything and if not then they would sort of leave you alone and then just walk by at any point in time so you don't feel like you're being bombarded every 30 minutes like do you want something do you want something you know and i really enjoy that the restaurants as i mentioned last night were all really really good my favorite by far was definitely the french restaurant then i would have to say the mexican restaurant was a really good one they do have various options also for lunch but the whole time that we were here we just had lunch at the seaside grill which is sort of like a restaurant setup so you definitely need to go in with a cover-up you know gentlemen need to be wearing a shirt and shoes but you're still near the pool area so it's really nice to just have lunch there with kind of like a view and then they have a ton of activities throughout the day they are scattered pretty nicely so you'll be able to do a few during the day if you want to the first day we did kayaking we also played a ton of pool volleyball we played beach volleyball they have spanish lessons which i thought was so fun so they definitely have a lot of activities to keep you entertained and you definitely do not need to be like a full on beach bum the whole time that you're here but if you want to you can totally do that as well we definitely took advantage of just laying out by the pool and hanging out having a drink even taking a little like 20 or 30 minute nap as well
and then during the night they also have certain shows that they do we did the silent disco i guess it's called one of the nights and that was a blast and then yesterday we just went to sort of like a show where there was like a little bit of singing dancing some acrobatics and stuff like that and that was really fun as well we also enjoyed some of the treatments offered by the spa that is an additional upcharge as it is in any hotel that you usually stay at but that was something else that we really enjoyed i think that was my favorite part of the whole stay to be honest you do have like a full hour before your spa treatments to enjoy the sauna the steam room there's a cold plunge there's a bunch of different things that you can go ahead and take advantage of and then you have depending on the treatments that you choose anywhere from like an hour to two hours to enjoy those as well overall i definitely recommend the resort i felt like the service was absolutely there everybody was super friendly and very attentive the food in my opinion was great you had a lot of variety so depending on what you specifically like you can either switch it up every night or even if you go to the same restaurants, they also had a good variety on the menus to choose from. And then we just decided to stay in the hotel the whole time, but you also have an option to go out and do activities, whether it's a day trip somewhere or just different excursions that they offer that you can book directly through the hotel or through a separate agency. So really quick before we head out, we are going to grab lunch now before the shuttle service that we booked comes to pick us up. But here is my airport look it is the exact same look that i came over with i'm wearing this black linen shirt and then what i did this time was just did a cute little knot here in the front linen pants are from abercrombie and guys if you're searching for a good pair of linen pants i highly highly recommend these they are a little bit pricier than your typical h&m or amazon but i personally think they are totally worth it they are high-waisted, as you can tell, they go over my belly button. They have different colors that you can choose from. And the best part about Abercrombie is that they do offer a short, regular, and tall length. So depending on your height, you don't have to get them hemmed. I went with the short option. You guys can see it is the perfect length to wear with sandals, and I can still do heels with these, and they still look really nice as well. Last but not least, these are my goodies. I love traveling with a carry-on and a personal item. So this trip was no different. That is my away carry-on piece. It is the regular size, it is not the larger one. I have my Negeti St. Bart's medium size tote as my personal item. And then my hat and my hat clip. This was the winner of this trip. I loved having the option to be able to put my hat on here if I didn't want to have to have it on my head. And a really quick review on this bag, you guys. She is amazing. I had, I want to say like three or four girls from the pool and the beach come up to me and ask me where the bag was from. I know that the color itself is really beautiful, but there's also a ton of other options. And it's just really a good travel bag in my opinion. The fact that the material is that neoprene material makes it really carefree as well. So here we have the travel look to head back home. We definitely had more than an amazing time here in Secrets Maroma. It definitely exceeded all of my expectations. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lookbook video and kind of where I share with you what I'm wearing, how I put things together. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I will have my latest upload linked here on the screen for you to check out next. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to watch today and I hope to catch you all in my next one. Bye everyone.